How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Son, and welcome back to another episode of the Dutch Return Campaign in Europe Universe House 4, uh, where we are sort of just chilling out for a little bit. Oh, election time. I love election time. See, the rulers are always just so good. Status are consistently being good for us right now as well, which is nice. Um, getting that Republican tradition up. And he's an expansionist, which is amazing. Uh, we should go ahead and swipe out these these bros here. Okay. Um, I'm not again. I'm not going to worry about Ethiopia. I'm not going to worry about the Gulf of Aden. I'm not going to worry about uh, anything in India. Yet. I'm just focusing on the East Indies, um, which is you know uh, Indonesia essentially. So much development here. Wow. Jeez, it's always incredible to me just how much development there is here by the time you get here as a European country. It's crazy. Crazy, man. What is our religious unity? Not that bad. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of a claim, a permanent claim. Although I do believe if you claim it again, it becomes a permanent claim again. Okay, let's go ahead and send in another colonist. Let's just get to work on the colonization aspect here. Okay, our heavy ships have made it here. They're gonna be upgraded first, of course. Should, you know, we can never not do that. Uh, it's kind of bad, but yeah, we'll do it. Wait until next month so we have 30% at least, and then we'll embark across the ocean here. Because I'm impatient. And we'll come over here and start smacking up Brunei. And uh, Sayak. There you go. Lundu, do you have claims on that, Makua? You don't. Uh, okay, well you need to work on that, Makua. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to how to do it. You just gotta get claims on everyone, and then you will destroy them. That's some nice ideas. Hey, this is a good uh, Dutch military reforms again. Another really good, uh, unique Dutch event. There's tons of them. Uh, 100 Diplo, 100 Military, or 200 Military... Oh my god, I, I put points into Military Development... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Alright, well we know what we need to do, but I should not have done that before. I should, I mean, I should have not developed before, yeah. That was bad decision on my part, I apologize. Extremely bad decision on my part. Extremely suboptimal. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Are there any vassals we can release from here? Kasai. That might be what I do, actually. Well, again, how many vassals do we have right now? Hamburg, permanent. France, more or less permanent right now. Denmark, or long term at least, I think it's not permanent. Denmark could be, we could cut them off. Makua, gonna be around a little while longer. I wouldn't mind going one over though, so maybe we do Pasai just to make it a little easier to, to eat stuff. Or Malacca for that matter. Yeah, that would actually probably be better. Spend all the admin points here. Well, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I do think I'm gonna hire some mercenaries, actually, for this army to buff them up. 10 mercenary infantry, whatever, you know, might as well. Um, Call for a diet. 
Bring a general ship, why not? He's not that great of a general. It's okay. He's not terrible either. Um, and with that being said, I think it's time to go to war here. Brunei, who are you allied with? Oh, you allied someone else now. Parak. Parak. Parak's not strong. But they might be strong enough to dissuade me from cobelligerizing you, Brunei. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll just do this. Alright, let's go. Okay, there you go. Go and, you know, detach however many you need to repair. Yeah, this should be a pretty easy little war. We'll see about that. I'm sure I'll find a way to make it harder than it needs to be. Well, we already won that siege, which is pretty darn good. We do have a lot of tech on them. So, oh my god, we also got the coffee event. We've gotten so many of those events directly happening to us, which is, is quite good, actually. You get some nice little, nice little, you know, extra money for that. Okay. Oh, Sayak is their capital. I mean, it makes sense. I should have, should have figured that from the name, huh? Did not remember that. We do have a siege conquistador. We might as well do that. Uh, in fact, our conquistador should actually come back home. Oh my god! No wonder we've been losing or you know not gaining manpower as quickly as quickly as I wanted. Yeah, let's bring you guys. Uh, bring you guys back home. go. Okay, nice, nice, nice. What about our colonies? What about our colonies? Uh, I have a colonist that hasn't been doing anything for a while. That's a major party foul, dude. Um, bring you into here. That's what we should do. Our general did die just now, our other general. Okay, yeah, smash up that fleet, no biggie. Yeah. I'd rather get this war over, over with quickly. Oh, hey, you know what? I should definitely be... Well, here's the thing. How much of England did I want to conquer after this? I, did, I said I didn't really even want to conquer any, right? I was just going to let Thaumann eat the rest. I'm pretty sure that's that was my idea. Because we would have to make Scottish into a protoculture if we really wanted to get a benefit out of it. Or that much benefit out of it. And I don't feel like making it a promoted culture just for three provinces when I could just make Ireland do that for me. Um, so, yeah, I think that's fine. I think we don't want any more claims against England directly. So that's good. I don't need to do that. Okay, come over here. I want you to come over here. Tulip crisis. Uh, 10 inflation actually is perfectly fine by me. We have so much admin points that it gives me something to spend them on. Oh my god, do you see how much money we're making? It's actually crazy. Okay, that's fine. Hey, France, you made... Oh, no, that's Thaumann. I, France is not in this war. That would have been more impressive, honestly. Alright, Truce of England has just now ended. Keep that in mind moving forward. I think, yeah, we will turn our eyes back to Europe in a second here. But first, we need to deal with uh, these scum. Rebel scum. Rebel scum. 
Hi, uh, Burgundy, how you doing? You still got Bohemia as an ally? Lame. Yeah, you're ally with Sweden and Nuremberg, huh. Mentawai has become self-sustaining, or no, yeah, Mentawai has become self-sustaining, we got our... We won the siege there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, so what do we want to do? We basically got them completely gobbled up, you know? Oh my god, now we got the China the Chinaware one. Wow, that's incredible. We have so much prestige just from those events alone, I'm pretty sure. Sort by Liberty Desire. Let's go ahead and do this a few times actually. Yeah, you ready to to peace out now, huh? Well I'm not ready. So there. there. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go over to Brunei. Brunei. And uh, destroy them. Yeah, we got kill, kill one, kill one, kill one? How would that actually be pronounced? Kill one or kill one? Kill one separatist uh, over there, that's fine. Okay, I'm actually gonna do the oranges this time, but they're not in power still, so we'll have a normal election in a few years. And we also got the global settler increase thing again. He's done it. Hmm, I would like to get my explorer on this fleet. We shouldn't need it, but here we go. We'll find out if that's true or not. Um, I mean, we should be like, we should severely outmatch them. Whether or not we outnumber, or well, you know, whether or not we outclass them. Time for more development, I suppose. Okay, cool. Oh my god, we already won that. Can we vassalize you? No, <laughs> didn't think so. Yeah, you got a lot of development, don't you? Uh, we could release Makassar as a vassal, though. Again, I, I don't know. We already have a lot of vassals, though. So maybe we don't worry about it. I, I think I am okay with going one over the limit, though. So, if that's the case, I do think it would be nice to go ahead and vassalize someone here. Well... Hmm. Here's the thing. If we vassalize someone and diplo annex them, we have to play. We have, yeah, we have to pay full diplo power as if we were going to make them normal cores, which we don't have to do with admin. So that kind of makes a case for it. A case for um for actually and you know uh, what's it called? Admin annexing most of their land. It makes a case for it, whether or not I still, whether or not, you know, I think that's actually the better option. I'm not, not so sure. Now I got trading in tropical wood, nice. I'll go and start doing that. Cut to ping. Okay, um, so we can just take Brunei. 
That's what I want to do. Cool. Uh, you're out of that war. Get out of here. Then we want to do up here roughly the same thing. Okay, can we do it like this? Hey, we can do exactly that and get like a line connected there. Wow. Apparently everyone would care. Maybe we don't take all that all at once. I guess just, uh, it's still gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, that's still probably gonna be a ton. Um, okay, don't worry about the islands then, don't worry about that. Yeah, 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 that's fine. That is fine. Alright, cool, well, I mean, oh, fudge. Now that's something I didn't think about, is overextension. Wow, that's terrible. Okay. Hmm. So any way to get around this? Are there any cores of any other countries here? Pasai? Oh, Pasai is a lot of development. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do what I was gonna say what I was saying I wouldn't do just because <laughs> why not because I really don't want to be above 100% over extension for that long yeah okay well I'll tell you what change the plans because I'm a little bit of a dummy so in that case what do we want to do then because what we could what we could do in this case is probably probably what I'll end up doing is um, may, maybe in this case we do want to make Sumatran a promoted culture and have that one be states and then the rest of the other ones will be in the trade company and that would actually we'll try that actually because if we do that I think what would happen is uh, with the rest of it I think we would have enough power in the trade company that it would uh, that we get the extra merchant and also get a ton of benefit out of Sumatra because it's such a good island so I think I'm 100% fine with that uh, we'll see how that works out later but in any case we got to live with our mistakes and that's fine It's not a major state, it's whatever. We still conquered a ton of land. Really? Okay, well. Join that. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of rebels pretty soon. It's fair to say. Um, and other stuff. I do need to end this episode here, though. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. We do have these rebels down here. Um, But... Yeah, things are going pretty well, I would say. We're gonna we're starting to establish our foothold. Not really even a power yet uh, here, but we're starting to establish a yeah, we're starting to establish our foothold in Malacca and soon the Malaccas, and that should be a great way to boost our income by you know like a ton. Um, we already have Zanzibar, we already have the Cape. We just need to get some more of the Ivory Coast as well, and then we'll be in business for real. Uh, we also have, we don't actually have that much in, in the Caribbean, which is a little surprising. Um, but we'll have soon Caribbean and Chesapeake Bay all flowing in stronger, hopefully, as well. Uh, and that should be good. Well, one last thing before we end the episode is, let's come in here and do this in any places that have, like, that have a lot of, uh, have a lot of things left. I mean, I, I think it's pretty much just, like, I'd, you always want to do that <laughs> so anyways uh thank you guys for watching please go leave a like and subscribe for more. we should be completely fine to go to north england as well in the next episode yeah our graphic expansion is actually totally fine uh, england you're dead uh thanks for watching see you guys in the next episode Bye bye